All right. <clears throat> so quick and uh, dirty session here today. Oh, got some feedback. I'm turn it off for myself. I um today want to focus. I, I think I'm just gonna do a little housekeeping today <clears throat> in terms of the game. Just wanted to play a little bit. I kind of had committed to streaming the entire progression of getting this challenge. Um, so I'm going to continue with that. Can I stop this so I don't show up as a viewer. There we go. So I'll continue with that. Um, I don't think I'm going to go super long. I'm a little tired. Had a good hard workout. I slept great last night. I didn't stay up until a minute or anything. So happy new year, everyone. Um, looking forward to 2021. 20. 20 um for me personally was actually pretty good um started a new job that i love luckily it's been totally stable i work from home uh so i'm very grateful for that the stuff for my family has been really good our boy is home from college and totally healthy and and everybody in our family has been good but i know that's not necessarily the case for everyone um so i, I definitely feel grateful for that but things have been going really well and i hope uh 2020 2021 is a great year for everybody. We can kind of bounce back from some of this. 2020s was kind of, I mean, it was kind of brutal. <laughs> Just uh, like we can again, me personally, like came out of it okay, but man, rough time. <laughs> so uh, in terms of the game today, I kind of just want to check in on where I left things. The last session was what, an hour and a half, two hours. And I actually only played 35 in-game days um which is really not a very long time i'm trying to go for a thousand in game days i'm at 638 right now so not quite uh two-thirds of the way through and what i expect to see happen is um a lot's gonna happen probably between now and day like 800 850 and we're probably gonna achieve most of what we want to do for the for the challenge during the next you know 200 days of gameplay um just because that'll play how it plays out the from 850 to a thousand like not a ton's gonna happen but uh you know we'll see i'll try to keep it interesting um like i said today just a short session just because i wanted to kind of check in on where things are i'm gonna renegotiate some contracts la 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 all that stuff um but a little tired rant had a great 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 workout today i've got a race uh triathlon cape may triathlon uh, it's called Escape the Cape. So you start by jumping off the Cape May Ferry and then swimming to shore for the swim leg of the triathlon. Super exciting. And that's in early June, so basically six months away. Um, so in terms of training periods, I guess you could say like two 12-week training periods. So I'm trying to figure out how to structure that. Um, but really ramping up my training time right now. Getting ready for that race. Uh, so let's check on where things are. I think last time... I kind of left this off that I was going to <clears throat> renegotiate some sales contracts. So I think I got all my sales people looking for billion impression deals. So we'll just prune these down a little bit. Mm -hmm. For each of the sales teams. And because I have these teams of three sales reps all reporting to the same manager. Their deals are pooled together. Oh, did I not? Maybe I just started those. I'm surprised they haven't researched any. Uh, but okay, cool, whatever. Hopefully by the time we're actually ready to sell them, they uh, have found a couple. <laughs> that would be disappointing. Um, so this is a fun little uh, tycoon game that I started playing. I don't know, probably Hmm, two, two years ago, I want to say, maybe three years ago. And um, it's actually very similar to what I do for my day job. So my wife kind of teases me that I do my work all day and then come home and do this for fun. Um, spent, so I've spent 410 hours on this, but then I had people in chat yesterday who said they had like 3,000 hours into their games. I think those were two uh, League of Legends guys. So... I don't know, maybe I don't feel bad about, so bad about my 400 hours, except that it's basically the same thing I do all day anyway at work. So all my spreads have got, and that 410 hours doesn't count like the spreadsheets and everything that I've done. So I keep previewing that. If you, I'll show you the spreadsheets if we get that far today. And the, the macro tool is almost certainly gonna come up. 
Uh, so sales contracts look good. Let's just kind of run the horn on sites. Supports in good shape. I've got my marketing running to get up the user base. Going for, a, oh, that one's way, I lost a ton of users on this site because I had some support problems. So, you know, it is what it is. We'll uh, try to, uh, try to uh, work around that. I'm trying to, I'm trying to rebuild these. So I'm spending a lot of money on marketing and that's out of, even still I'm making a hundred million dollars a day profit. One of my goals is to get a trillion dollars and I'm at 4.7 billion right now. I don't, I don't think it's possible to get to a trillion dollars in a thousand days. I haven't thought of a way to do that yet. So it's still on my list. If I can figure it out, we'll do that. The only lead I have is maybe to like build up sites quickly and sell them just to like do those quick flips and see if I can generate some revenue that way. At any rate, I've got a pretty strong marketing spend going on all these sites, trying to get users up to speed and things are in relatively good shape. None of these uh, are having support problems. I've got the marketing running. Got a couple, I think, what are these guys doing? I think these guys are, yeah, so these guys are researching Fusion server components. And what do I have going up on this floor? All right. So I could place some more orders. Should check out on my components and see what I can upgrade now and what I have to order more parts for. <laughs> oh, that's it. Scroll over here. So landing page and comment fact functionality maxed out. I'm basically trying to get two features on every site right now. Uh, and once the user base grows, I think I'll get number one in social media just on those two features. Video functionality. What can we do there? So I need front end modules and video playback modules. What am I ordering with these guys? Mm -hmm. Front end. So I need front end and video playback. Front end and video playback. Am I not ordering? What's front end and video playback for? I thought that was this one. So let's do what I'm ordering. Front end for that. I think that's a different feature though. Right? These are just all my orders that I'm waiting for delivery on. Most of these network components, okay. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, this is server stuff. Running in back end. All right, so let's do an order for front end and video playback modules. What's this is my video functionality feature. So we'll load up the uh, macro tool. And I think I've got video functionality set up. So here's video functionality. We'll place an order for the, this is the macro tool I was talking about. When I talk about I played the game for like 410 hours, it's not counting the time I spent into building this macro that lets me place orders in bulk, which I'm about to show you. Um, and I also have this kind of extensive spreadsheet for, for looking at parts, uh, parts orders and all that kind of stuff. So let me check in my parts list for video functionality. And for that site, I need one and one. So let's just see how long it actually is going to take if I order these parts. I've got four rows that I can do and I need front end and video playback. And I think I only needed, I had five, so I only really need 2000 parts. So I've got four, let's see. So let's, so, so, well, 2,000, 
So I've got 42,000 divided by four, 10. So if I ordered 50, I could have those how fast? In eight days, if I order four rows at 50, uh, and what's going to cost me 1.6 million per order, 16 million, 32, uh, 60 million, 70 million, basically to get all those parts in. So let's do that. And I should be able then to max out that feature. I'll just double check. It was, uh, I think I already had maxed out the efficiency. Yep. And so then I just need 2000 on the, uh, yep. Cool, cool, cool. So let's do that. So I've got my parts form updated. We're gonna order four sets of 10. Let's play that and place those orders. So this is what I'm doing for the time being. Uh, like I said, tonight, I'm just gonna check in on these features, try and get things upgraded. The timer on the game is not running, so I'm not burning game days placing these orders. And that's kind of a lot of what you're gonna see is I'm trying to place things so that I get, you know, an eight game days and 14, a week to two weeks of in-game uh, time. I've got deliveries coming in, I can get features updated. Uh, so I'm gonna continue down that path, but it means a lot of time with the clock not running. And like I said, what's gonna happen is I'll get to about day, like 8.50ish, and I'll have accomplished all of the achievements. And basically the purpose of the game is to have, I call it a speed run or a perfect game. And what that means is in a thousand days of gameplay, I'm going to get 100% of the Steam achievements for the entire game. And right now I've got the little uh, timer run in there at the top right. Oh, sorry. It's probably on this side at the top right. <clears throat> um, and you can see all the achievements that I've gotten already. I think it's probably 15 or so of the 29. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10, 10. Yeah, 15 of the 29. Um, big ones left include... Uh, fast support, which only about 2% of people uh, have achieved according to the Startup Company Achievements guide that I use. Um, another big one is what? I mean, that that's that might be the only one left that's going to like take a concerted effort. And that one's even not that hard. I have kind of a hack to uh, get that pretty easily and consistently. And... Um, so my rules for this challenge are playing in career mode, not playing with any mods, and I can't do any rescue saves. Meaning, so a re rescue save means I can't do I can't do something to get an achievement that I would have to undo with the rescue save. So the best example of this is um, going bankrupt. There's an achievement for bankruptcy. If I get that achievement and I have to do a rescue save to undo it, then the challenge is over. So if I get a if I go bankrupt before day 1000, then I can't get any of the other achievements. So the last achievement I get has to be bankruptcy. And if I get bankruptcy, if I go bankrupt before I get the last achievement, second to last, I guess, um, then the challenge is over. So tonight I'm just gonna place a couple orders, check in on a couple sites, make sure things are upgraded. Um, not gonna play for a super long time. Check in on the stream site. Live stream. I think, yeah, so I've got parts on order for this. Check in shopping. What's my next feature? Item listing. Uh, I don't know if I've got parts on order for that. I don't have anybody, any free space to order right now, though. So, uh, meaning I don't have any outsourcing execs available to place orders right now. So, kind of st holding steady on that. For this one, I just need a bunch of back-end modules. Hmm. can probably order some back-end modules. Why don't I do that? Let's have these orders max out some back-end modules. So let me check on my order forms. I've actually got... So let's see how many backend modules I can order in a reasonable amount of time. Backend module. So I'm gonna max it out. I don't know if I get those how fast. 12 days? Uh yeah, okay, let's do that. 
So load up my macro tool. We're just going to set it to one, but it's not even going to be a full one. It's going to be incomplete and we'll place it for whatever's less left of these, this row. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. No, no, no. What did I messed up something there? I forgot to change what I was ordering. But I got that, so that I need these one off. So I set this up for my background components. Let's try that again. There we go. So in 10 days, I'll get what, uh, two, two or 3,000 of those? That might actually be enough to upgrade the feature. It should be in decent shape. All right, and then we'll just peek in on the gaming site. Functionality, front end modules, and video playback. So those I might have to wait until I free up, free up some from space. We'll check in on my competitors. I think right, so the closest one I have is, I see I got the number one spot to get the achievement. So I already achieved the number of getting top three. And then I lost it because I had support problems and fell off. So that kind of sucks. Oh, I'm already number three in video sharing. Okay. Number two in streaming. Number three in shopping, dating, gaming. So once I get two features on these sites, that might get me to number one, which would be the world domination in every category. I think though, for video sharing in particular, it, although it could be streaming, for one of these, maybe both of them, I'm gonna have to have three features. I don't think I can get quite enough users on two features, um, but I'm gonna max these out and then we'll just kinda see what happens. Let's check in, check in on where we are, impression wise. So I'm actually not gonna be too far away from a billion viewers. I might just, uh, Keep an eye on this for a minute. Uh, so iStream has two DDoS attacks going right now and is at 40% server capacity. Uh, so it's able to absorb both the, the, the both of those attacks pretty easily. I'm actually not too worried about that. Uh, but I'm just looking for these to get to that billion viewer mark so I can renegotiate some of these contracts. Let's see where I am on this. So I think that's my weakest one. That's coming in on my parts deliveries. Okay, so these are our Fusion server parts. Probably all of these. Oh. All Fusion? Uh, yep, yeah, all Fusion server parts. So, do I have Fusion servers unlocked yet? Let me see. I think this is Fusion servers. Yeah, so thir it's going to be 13 days before I actually have access to Fusion servers because I get I unlock Fusion servers and, and Fusion Heat Transformers with the uh, title Power Investment Project, uh, which I don't have yet, but I'll have it in 13 days. So that's cool. And where did I order those? Oh, sorry. Had these guys ordering those? Did I have anybody else ordering those? Uh, yeah, so I had a row here and a row here. So I've got a couple people free if I want to place some more orders. Um, let me just check on where I left off with the video ads. This is the, man, I gotta get this one back up. That one's killing me. I'm losing money on these ads for sure. But yeah, that's what it is. These are all pretty close. I have all these at like 49, 47, 40, 40%, 49, 47, 48, 49, 50%. So that's cool. Once we get them to a billion users, then we'll renegotiate all those contracts. I don't really need any more investment offers. Pretty solid on cash right now. I think I'm in good shape. How much are they gonna offer me though? Let's see. 270 million, whatever. <laughs> 270 million, who cares? 
How awesome would that be in real life? Oh, do I have more coming in? I do, I do, I do. All right, I don't know what these are for though. I'll have to figure that out. Uh, back end, front end, network involved. It sounds like something video related. It's either this one or the streaming side, I'm guessing. Yes. So this is probably not gonna be enough to max this out. So we're gonna get max efficiency and see what's left. I don't think I'm, I'm not gonna be able to get to le level 7,000. Uh, 2,000. Yeah, that's not enough to turn on. What am I short on? So I need... So I basically need 2,000 network components and 5,000 front-end modules and back-end. All right. Just gonna take a screenshot of this here so that I can keep track for my parts orders. Oop. What did I do? made something go away on my screen. Uh, where did that disappear to? Hmm. All right. So what was I looking at? Streaming? There we go. Screenshot that. I hit a wrong button and made it disappear unexpectedly. Okay. So... I don't know who's delivering these, but that's cool. We'll let those come in and I'll, and I'll see who they are. I don't do a great job of keeping track of where I have my orders placed. Like these are all gonna come in too. I don't actually know who's producing them. So let's just check in here. If I create a task and I order uh, live streaming. Back end. Front end. Network components. And for network components, I need four of each of those. So that's not as lopsided probably as I think. All right, so let's just say, trying to get the 785. So I need 20,000 of those. And then 5,000 of the rest. So I'm still four to one. So if I do these, at 125, all right. So I'm gonna stick with these same 125, 125, 500. And that's gonna take 16 days. Um, and if I do that, so what's, So I need four rows, and I have what one, two, three, four, five, six. Five thousand divided by six. Eighty-five. So if I do, just trying to figure out how to balance these. So if I do eighty-five, eighty-five. And whatever 85 times 4 is, 340. So I should get those as quickly as possible at this level if I fill up all six of these rows. So we are going to order live streaming components for one row. Place those orders.
And now I'm kind of in this cycle where it's going to be hard to quit because <laughs> I'm going to have no parts come in and I'll be able to place new orders and then these parts will come in and I'll be able to renegotiate contracts and there's always one next thing and that, that's what makes this game so addictive. But I really enjoy it. If you're into tycoon, tycoon games, I definitely recommend it. The developer is pretty awesome. It's a one man uh, uh, game development shop. Uh, put this together. It's his first project. Very, very cool. Definitely recommend it. Good Discord support for it. Um, I, per I participate there a lot, Zen Mike. Uh, and I started doing this series, which uh, you're certainly welcome to check out. You can connect with me on YouTube. I don't have a. I don't have a URL on YouTube, so just uh, if you're seeing it on YouTube, just like the follow the uh, channel. I'm Zen Mike here on Twitch, uh, so you can definitely connect with me there. And I'm going to not like I'll stream. So I'm committed to streaming this challenge all the way through to the end. So I've got what like 20 some hours into it right now, and probably 10 or 10, 10 or 12 hours left. So another you know five to ten sessions uh, on this game. Two, three, four, or five. But I also do a couple talk shows. I do a uh, world affairs talk show for my local world affairs council where I get to talk to like experts on China, Russia, Africa, the Middle East, Brexit. Really cool. We do that twice a month, whackwriting.org. Um, check out that programming. It's a lot of fun. I'm getting ready to start doing a show on more like uh, network security and, and internet privacy which I'm pretty, pretty psyched about. Uh, that's going to be with the company that I'm working with now, DNS Filter. And then I'm looking to do a couple of my own shows. I think I'm really intrigued by the idea of finding the political middle ground in America. And what I'm referring to specifically is that on policy, polls show most Americans agree on most issues. However, if you pay attention to the political discourse, there's a ton of polarization. So the country is very polarized on ideological grounds, even though at the same time, we largely agree on the actual policy issues that are at, at discussion or at stake, being debated, whatever. And I think a lot of that just has to do with how the conversation is framed. So like um, socialism versus Medicare for all. Most Americans, are for Medicare for all and against socialism. That seems contradictory, but it's totally not. It's just because of the way the parties talk about this. Similar for abortion. Most of the country wants abortion to be legal and safe. Nobody wants more abortions than we need or free abortions for everybody. Um, but the framing is very polarizing. Uh, drug legalization tax policy, all of it. I, and I think, you know, e even if you go fundamentally the term like patriot, it feels like the political right has kind of claimed this term patriot. Um, I'm a patriot. I'm a former Marine. But I'm also very progressive. So what does that mean? And I think that's so like those language differences, right? What does it mean to be a patriot in the political context? It, 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 that's totally unclear. Um, so my point is to, to do a show where we kind of talk about like the reality of those issues and how how to um, get traction on them, because the fact is we don't need. Like people talk about like a third party because the parties don't represent us. That's totally true. The parties absolutely don't represent us. However, we don't have to overtake a party. We don't have to we don't have to persuade 50% of the country. We don't have to persuade 50% of the voters. We don't have to persuade 41% or however many, like whatever. If we could just get like three to five percent of people to take the stand that what we care about is the policy, not the politics, that's enough to sway an election. Elections are only won by, you know, two, three, four points, sometimes even much less than that. So if reasonable people can get together and vote as a block for the things that we all agree on already anyway, then we should be in good shape.
And I think what, so there are a couple issues that make that a little bit tricky from, t to my mind. And, and abortion is probably the biggest one that if you truly, like if you're a single issue abortion voter and you think abortion should be criminalized, women who have abortions, doctors who perform abortions should be sent to jail. Uh, it's tough to find middle ground there. You could agree on every other issue, but if that's the one you're going to vote on, I, I don't, I don't know what we can do. <clears throat> um, but I don't know how many people that totally applies to. I think the question of how much money, how much federal money, government money, healthcare money should go to the hospitals that offer abortions. Like, okay, that's an interesting debate. We can talk about that. I don't, I don't know what the answer is. Um, but these are the kinds of conversations I think that uh, I want to be having. One that came up for me recently was like global warming. Everybody, everybody cares about the environment, right? We've all got to live here. Um, what's interesting though, is just how we talk about it. And I think the concern is we talk about a green jobs program. We know what, we know what oil, we know what, we know what fossil fuel jobs look like. We know what oil field jobs look like, mining jobs, um, plant jobs, transportation jobs. We know what those things look like. And we feel like we're going to lose that. And if we just say, no, 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 don't worry. There's going to be lots of new green jobs to take their place. It's tough to visualize what that means and accept that it feels very, you know, like you're taking something away from me that I have and in exchange for something that I don't understand that feels more technical, more uh, elite, whatever. Um, so I'm not on board with that. The other side is I think like, I like my, driving my car. Do I want to give up my gas burning car to save the environment? Like, I don't, yeah, I mean, sure. I want the environment to be safe, but I like my car. So I don't know if I totally want to give that up. So totally legitimate concerns, points of view. Um, so where does that leave us? Is it just a communication issue? Is it what, how do we deal with that? And I think there's answers to those questions and those are the things that we need to be talking about. All right, so back to the game for a bit here. We got a couple big deliveries coming in. So let's uh, see where we stand. I don't think anything has changed on this site. Yep, not going to. I was just kind of start at the top and work my way down. Video functionality. Oh, look at that. All right, so hit our video functionality. We'll turn that on. We're still happy. We still got our marketing spend going. We are currently, oh, we're so close to a billion and now I'm down to 20. So I'm close to 30%. Once I sell this billion, view, once I sell these billion views on a sales contract, I probably, I'm tempted to just double it, but I probably should make it into smaller chunks and do it like, uh, 1.2, 1.4, 1.6, and then just renegotiate it every 10 days. I think that's probably the smart move. Yeah. All right, let's see where we are on this. Very similar, very close to that billion views. Let's check on our functionality here. Yep. I think we just played the placed this order, so we're not gonna be ready to upgrade those for a bit. Let's check in on the shopping site. How are we doing on item listings? Oh, might be able to get there on this one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Looks good. Looks good. Looks good. And we'll turn that on. Boom. Love it. Love it. Love it. Okay. We'll check on dating. Comment function. Oh. No problem. We're totally going to get there on this one, too. Man, we're in good shape. We're in good shape. Good stuff going on. Oh, I was short. Ooh, short on input module specifically. I think I made a big backend module order. Not a huge backend order module. I need some front end modules. Oof. I'm going to be a little bit short on backends, but I'm a lot short on front ends. How many do I need? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What am I trying to think through here? So I need three times 
4,000. Right? 3 times 4,000. It's 12, 12, I need 12,000 of those. Six, three, probably a thousand of those. So if I need twelve thousand or two hundred, uh, and then fifty. So let's look at. I'm just gonna grab a screenshot so I can see what I'm looking for here. I will refer to my order list, and we need what? Okay, so I have back ends. Let's call the. Uh, I think those are 20. I think I just need 25 because I have more back ends than input modules. So I think I'm going to be okay there. So let's do six orders. Six rows of 10 on comment functionality. Six rows. And we'll do that right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And there we go. Yeah, so I've been re really enjoying doing this stream. Um, at a, at a, it's, uh, I'm kind of just doing it for fun. It's exciting to think about having followers and all that, but, uh, so easy to get hung up on that. Like, that's not really the point. So I just started doing this for fun. I like this game. I play this game a lot. It's super easy to stream. It's actually the reason I started streaming. I mean, that's not totally true. It's, it's the reason I started to try and get into live streaming or in this generation. So I had like a podcast that I used to do. I had like 200 episodes of that, did a bunch of videos, video interviews. I, I mentioned I do the show for the World Affairs Council. I'm getting ready to do a show for the NS Filter. I have my own show stuff that I want to do. But probably so, towards the beginning of the pandemic lockdowns, I um, tried to stream this game from my Surface Pro laptop and was not happy with the resource load uh, that it was going to take to do that. So I started building this rig that I have now and that was probably six months ago it took me a long time to build a rig and now I'm just kind of streaming this game because it's a fun easy way to get started um I feel like I don't know if I'd want to watch 30 hours of somebody playing this game <laughs> but hopefully it's more about the conversation and interaction and answering some questions so I'm really viewing it as a opportunity to just practice Practice streaming, practice interacting with people, practice the, you know, consistency of it. And uh, it's been a lot of fun. Like I said, been able to connect with a couple people. That's been cool. Um, I think uh, there's also some, like I do a lot of support, I said, on the Startup Company Discord. And which you could check out if you if you play the game. Um, and if you don't play the game, again, if you like Tycoon Games, definitely check it out. I think I put a link in the description at least in youtube um i'll try and add it on uh twitch let me check what i have there on twitch oh shoot i can't move the... <laughs> uh what did i do i always forget that i can't move the mouse when i'm in the middle of the game here or it or when i'm in the middle of my macro automation or it screws the whole thing up so sorry about that <laughs> oh no. I broke it. I broke it. All right, I think I got it back on track here. There we go. Uh I forget what I was saying. Oh, I was gonna check my title for the for the stream. So it's been it's been really cool to uh, just get to understand how Twitch works, how the streaming works, how to upload the videos to YouTube, all that stuff. 
um, individually I've done a lot of that before and I do a lot of production. I think the thing that I'm most interested in from a technology standpoint is just the act of producing a stream, especially when I'm doing interviews. That's what I really enjoy about my World Affairs Council is I, is I am interviewing people, we're doing their screen shares, I'm coordinating Q&A with the live audience, I'm streaming it to Facebook, I'm streaming it to Zoom, and I really enjoy that live production and then also the hosting. So I'm hosting and I'm producing and I'm streaming and I just think that's really cool. I, th I think that's really cool. I really enjoy the challenge of doing that. Uh, okay, so we got everything ordered. I'm just gonna do a quick save game and check in on the achievements. Yeah, 15 to 29, so nothing's really changed. If I just do a quick rundown, we'll see that, uh, so addicted, play for a thousand in game days. That's, I guess I would say that's the second to last one I have to achieve. My goal is to get a thousand in game days for this achievement and then immediately go bankrupt on day 1000 and that's the end of the game. Number one social media site, I'm about to get that if my marketing kicks in, thousand support tickets, no problem. Research everything. As soon as I get my last investment project, that's gonna happen. Uh, like I said, bankrupt on day 1000. Number one of all website types. We kind of checked in on that. I think I'm on track. I might have to add a couple more features to some of the some of the sites, but feel pretty good about it. Fast support's kind of a fun one. Um, I'll do something to get that. That is definitely not, uh, as I say, within the spirit of the, the game, but definitely within the rules of the game and, and the rules of the challenge. And then a bunch of these have to do with the retirement fund, up to three and a half million retirement fund. The research projects are in prog progress, uh, so I'm well on track to have all of these done. Okay, so where were we? I'm at functionality. This is what I was just looking at. Even video function. Uh, not gonna be able to upgrade these a whole lot because I'm about to burn through all of these parts. So let's do a video functionality order. Video functionality. So we need, let's uh, refer to the spreadsheet. So if I look at the spreadsheet, um, look at video functionality on iGame, video functionality. Uh, actually, there's a few. The thing I'm interested in is just what this total number is. So 9248, let's call it 9,500. So I need 9,500 of each of these to max out the efficiency and level of this feature. Um, so if I've got, I need 9,500, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if I order 120 of each of those, what's that going to put me at? This is video functionality. So I need a front end module and a video playback module. And what did I say, 120? So let's say I was gonna order 120. That means I'll get them in 18 days at a cost of 4.3 million each. 84, 40, 43. Yeah, there's not really a downside there. Right? So let's make these 120s, 
20. Did I do that right? So I need 9,500. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if I order each, each one for 120, uh, that should get me there. Yes. I feel pretty confident about that. So let's uh, load up my video functionality orders. And we will do eight. All right, so here we go. And that's gonna keep my mouse tied up for a little while. This macro tool has been a lifesaver. Um, to, I like this strategy of using outsourcing, outsourcing execs. The alternative is to actually just hire production workers and you know developers, designers, senior developers, and set the production levels and they'll make the parts and that's totally cool. Uh, I really like this outsourcing exec model where I just order the parts that I need. I don't know that it's necessarily the cheapest or, you know, I guess ultimately even the fastest, but I know that it's very easy to manage and I can just order exactly what I want without having to worry about all that other stuff. Um, downside is if I have to go through, in this case, 80 outsourcing executives to place these orders one by one, that gets extremely tedious. Uh, to the point that it's not probably a viable strategy at that point. But this macro tool makes it uh, actually pretty easy to do that. So that's what I do. And uh, I built out this macro. I tested it. Um, it's changed a lot. I've optimized it. <laughs> that's what I do. I optimize things. Um, when I first built it, I would just use wait steps in between each thing. Um, and the problem I had was that at the beginning of the game, when there was very low latency, I'd have to wait too long. But then at the end of the game, when the latency was higher, I wasn't waiting long enough. And so through just through iterations, I figured out with this tool how to make them all, make all the trigger actions based on this image appears, this image disappears, the cursor is in this spot, uh, whatever, so that it'll go pretty much as fast as it can go, regardless of how fast or slow the interface is refreshing. Um, so that's been pretty cool. And that there's, that's one of the things that like, when I talk about, this is essentially what I do at work all day. Like that's the kind of stuff that I do that I enjoy doing. I love optimizing things. I'm a programmer at heart. I've owned some businesses started my, uh, I started, so I started in, um, electronics in the Marine Corps. Um, I got out of the Marine Corps, I started teaching myself programming and network administration. So uh, my first business was doing programming, largely in the pharmaceutical and um, government agency, like local governments um, areas, mobile app development. And then after a couple of years of that, I started an IT company, which I eventually went on to sell. Then I was running a... Uh, digital marketing analytics company for a couple years. And now I am at a DNS filtering company, um, which I, I really enjoy, man. I, I like the work quite a bit. Uh, and that's part of that is I'm going to get the opportunity to do this show that I've mentioned. Uh, so super excited about that. I think this is probably going to be one of the last things I do today for this stream keep it to about an hour here. I'll just run through and check up on my sites again. I'm probably at the point that I could renegotiate those contracts. Um, I don't know if I'm totally going to do that yet, though. Let's, let's see how things look. Oh, yeah, so I got 11 more to go. I kind of, I was thinking about it earlier today, and I kind of wish I hadn't let go of all my researchers 
So I feel like I know I'm going to have that dead space between day 850 and the end of the game. My expectation is that by about day 850, I will have met all of my objectives for the game. Um, and that from there on out, it's mostly just about running out the clock. And I thought that if I still had the researchers, maybe it would make sense to build up the ad block feature so that I could start making more ad revenue, which I definitely do. You definitely make more ad revenue with the ad block feature. Um, but I kind of made the judgment early on that it wasn't going to pay off in the amount of time that it would take to develop it. I, I, I still don't know if that's totally true or not, but since I'd already had them, it, I guess I feel like I maybe should have hung on to them, but I didn't, whatever. So I do th that little flip just to, because it'll refresh the status of all these uh, outsourcing execs so that I can see who's working on what. So I have these guys that could place orders. I think I'm actually just going to wait so I can sync those up though. Um, where were we on like that's ad stuff? Yeah, so not quite there, but very close. I probably am there on this one. Yeah, I am. Uh, <clears throat> and what about social? Could be close, close again on social. Oh, not close at all. <laughs> um. Oh, and my marketing stopped running. All right, let's definitely get some marketing running, and let's run some marketing. Oh, I only have that one feature. Oh, what am I doing? Damn, dude. I'm not paying attention. Oof. Man. How am I not staying on top of that? Alright, whatever. Uh, we'll get this. Okay, so here's what we're going to do is order more um, marketing components. For TV ads. I definitely need that. Get this up to 10 million there we go start populating those sites let's check on what it takes to get some tv ads all right so we need copywriting video format contract agreement and what i generally do is order 250 of each how long does that take 14 days do i want to take any longer than that do i want to get them faster what if i do 200 11 days i'm gonna make them 200 and i probably should order more i'm gonna add this to my notes is uh order additional tv add components all right I made a note of that for next time and then uh for this time let's just fill up these slots that are already open so we'll fill our tool here to do two of TV ads. Boom. There we go. I said I'm at 200, so I get them a little bit faster. This is the last order I'm going to place tonight. And see, that's the kind of stuff costs you in this game. It's just like the, at this stage of the game, there's a lot to keep track of. And that's the kind of stuff that I always miss early in the game. My biggest risk, which actually killed my challenge the first time I tried to do this, is going bankrupt because I get too aggressive with the outsourcing execs and end up placing orders that burn up all of my money. In some cases, more money than I have. Um, at this point in the game, it's always going to be not noticing that support's out of control or not noticing that a marketing campaign burned up or not noticing that some feature was turned on. Uh, so there's a lot to pay attention to. A benefit of having all these sites at roughly the same level is that the user counts should be comparable. 
um, although even now you can see between like share and sh between share stream and shop share and shop have two features each stream only has one feature so that explains some of the difference there and that is the end of our row okay so let's just uh run the board got my marketing running and my supports under control posting is in good shape features are turned on i am way 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 under delivering on my ads but hopefully now that i have my marketing running and i got my features turned on i can actually get back up to the level that i need to be at on this site marketing is still running Posting's in good shape. I've got both my features turned on and maxed out, and I'm very close to renegotiating those contracts. In fact, how many days? Four of 10 days. So this is on the share site, social share. So we're going to not renew these contracts for this group of salespeople and I have these uh, grouped in order so this is social share stream shop date game hmm very close there too uh 10 not that close uh stream you know what let's 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 not renew those I'm I can get there this might be a case where if I'm not there tomorrow then i'll delete all the ads to get that last bit in fact this is an easier way to do it i'm there on these so if i look if i put my mouse over i can see that i've, I've got the billion on this shop site and it's still growing so that's totally safe to make that change look at these oh i'm there too Oh man, I'm gonna have a big jump in revenue once these contracts all come around. Just gotta make sure that my support stays in line. Oh, there too. Yeah, boom. All right, so all of those are gonna get renegotiated and that's gonna be a 250 million uh, impression increase for all of those ads. So it's what basically a 30% increase on all, on all that revenue. So I'm making a hundred million now. I should be making 130 million easily, uh, maybe more if, I, if my math is uh, off on that, which it often is. Um, but that's where I'm gonna leave things today. I don't think I got any new achievements. Nope, 15 to 29. So just some growth today. Uh, spent some good time on the stream. If anybody checks this out, follow me on Twitch, follow me on YouTube. I'm not always going to do gaming. I'll probably get into some technology, some streaming, some politics. Um, so if you're interested in that stuff, then uh, hit me up and let me know. We'll keep in touch. All right. Thanks all. Out.